today. I am very happy to tell you a very, very painful topic of society. But first, let me introduce myself. My full name is Dao Chen Hang Wen. I'm in class 41 in Kowloon Wan Primary School. I was born in Kowloon. It is a small district in Kainhua Province. Enjoy the topic, everyone. What question do you have in mind about this topic? You may ask that what is school violence? School violence is the behavior of someone who beat you, insult you, and do more horrible things to you at school. Those actions may lead to the victim's mental health, can be at high price of losing their life. Now, let's explore part two. Type of school violence and how can school violence happen? Now, let's know the first one. To understand this, we need to take a look at some type of school violence. For example, cyberbullying. Cyberbullying is when people make mean rude and nasty comments of other people online. It, is, it can be equally dangerous to physical bullying too because it can damage or destroy your status and your image. Now, how about take a look at physical bullying. Physical bullying is also considered verbal bullying. Verbal bullying is calling you names spreading rumor or even tell other people about your secret. Of course, that can also happen when someone beat you. They might pull your hair, slap your face, or even take a stick to beat you. And that is just one example of bullying. Mental bullying is also dangerous. It can cause the victim to lose their nerve. They can be depressed, scared, and they can't concentrate on their study anymore. That is a type of mental abuse. Mental abuse can last very, very long. And there are many types of mental abuse too. Some students didn't want their parents or their teachers to see the bad grade or bad things they do at school. Many other students can take advantage of these things and tell to the victim that they are going to post it on the internet or tell the victim parent about it. That way, they can force the victim what they want the victim to do. We have covered a lot today, so let's see how to stop school violence. If you are a victim of school violence, then you must tell an adult. Learn how to control and focus on your feelings. Often, your parents and your teachers have to be the last one to know. And if you see people bully others, then you must tell an adult. The law can handle the situation carefully so they can prevent bad results. Lastly, learn to react the right way. But if you are a bully, 